So now I'm back to my basketball example. Um, and as you can see, I have filled everything in. So if you take a look over here, you can see I have layer upon layer upon layer upon layer upon layer of all of my words. So I have lots of layers. Now, in order to maybe keep yourself organized, if you're feeling too overwhelmed or a little confused, down at the bottom here, there is a little folder, and it's just like making a folder on your desktop, except it's going to make a folder over here in your layers. So, for example, I made a folder that involved all of the skin on my guy, and then I just went ahead and placed all of the things into that layer. That way, when I am done with the skin, I like to keep things organized. I can close that thing, and boom. The skin is done. Then I went through and did all the clothing. I made a clothing folder. I closed the clothing folder. Boom, that's done. I went through and made the parts that make up this rim thing over here. And when I was done with the rim, I made a folder. Boom, that was done. And then the only thing left was the ball. And so that made my life a little bit easier by creating a folder in which to work. Now, when you think you are finished making your picture, the best way to determine on your own if your picture is done is to come over here and go to your black layer. Make sure that the opacity is now turned up to 100%. Once you turn it to 100%, you'll be able to see your image without any picture behind it. And as you can see here, I can see my guy's arm, I can see fingers, I can see his shorts, I can see his legs and his feet, his face, I can even see the little smile in his ear, I can see the net and the rim. And so it looks actually like a person dunking a basketball without a person behind it. Once you can turn on your black layer to 100% opacity and see that you can actually see your image made up of lettering, you are done. And here comes the time for you to be able to turn it in. So when you are finished, here you go. You are going to turn off your picture layer, eyeball. You're going to turn off your background, eyeball. You are then going to come up here and you are going to go to layer, merge visible. Now remember, you need to be absolutely sure when you do this or to have a copy saved because this is no going back from here. So I'm pretty confident I'm going to click Merge Visible and you will now see that everything is on the black layer and that's what you would like. So when you can see your little picture here on the black layer, you will then turn your eyeball on the NBA dunk and then where it says normal up here, you will change that to multiply. And that means I want to turn all of the white text, which we talked about before, transparent. So I'm going to click multiply. And if you did it correctly, you will now be able to see all of your image come through your white text. You will now be able to turn in your project. Again, please label it period dash text art dash your last name dot jpeg it's important to go to file save as and i will i will do this again i will go i'll just do first period dash text art dash young oops young and remember to save this copy as a jpeg and that is what you will turn in because in Google Classroom, it only recognizes JPEGs, so you will need to file save as a JPEG so that I will be able to keep it.